Martin Zweig, Martin Zweig's winning on Wall Street. Are you ready to challenge conventional wisdom on investments and explore proven methods to conquer the market? In Martin Zweig's Winning on Wall Street, Zweig reveals essential strategies to navigate unpredictable market conditions and maximize gains. Learn about the risks of a buy-and-hold strategy, effective indicators to monitor monetary policy and market trends, and ways to identify promising stocks. Delve into the significance of staying in harmony with the market, understanding key stock indexes, and heeding monetary factors that shape the market. This summary empowers you to transition from a trend fighter to a trend follower, coming out on top more often than not. Stock Market Strategies Over the past few decades, the stock market has experienced steady growth, making a buy-and-hold strategy a reliable approach. However, in the long run, stock prices must align with overall economic growth, and there is now a high risk of prices falling in a bear market. To mitigate this risk, investors should not solely rely on the buy-and-hold approach but instead sell some stocks as a hedge. Investors are advised to sell when there is a high risk of loss and invest when the risk is low. Interestingly, the biggest opportunities for gain usually occur when the market is uncertain. Beating the market In 1987, subscribers to the Zweig Telephone Hotline were advised to invest in November puts, 8% out of the money. Despite the puts being worthless if the market didn't drop, the market did collapse on October 19, and the puts increased in value by 2075%, resulting in a net gain of 9% on Black Monday. The signals of a risky market include high P-E ratios, yields, and steady upward movement without interruption for years. The book discusses proven methods for outperforming the market. Successful Investing Strategies the secrets to successful investing revealed, understanding market trends, following probabilistic decision-making, and using reliable indicators. The author emphasizes the importance of cutting losses and letting profits run. He also advises investors to be flexible and aware of the construction and meaning of indexes like the Dow Jones and Standard & Poor's 500. According to the author, the conventional wisdom that Wall Street analysts can predict earnings, mutual funds can beat the market, and technical trading systems work is flawed, brokerage house reports also fail to identify winning stocks. Instead, the author advocates for following the monetary factors that determine market direction, namely Federal Reserve policy and interest rate moves, and identifying reliable market indicators. Investors should avoid trying to buy stocks at the bottom and sell at the top, as it is too risky and dangerous. The author recommends being in harmony with the market and following trends. It's essential to buy when market trends are favorable and to cut losses when the market moves against you. Investors who cut losses and let profits run can succeed by being right only 40% of the time. Additionally, Investors should be flexible and understand how indexes such as the Dow Jones and Standard & Poor's 500 are constructed and how inflation affects them. The Dow Jones Industrial Average includes 30 large industrial stocks and is calculated by dividing the sum of their prices by a divisor. On the other hand, the Standard & Poor's 500 weighs its selection of stocks according to their capitalization. In conclusion, investors looking to succeed in the market should follow market trends, have reliable indicators, and make probabilistic decisions. The key to success is cutting losses and letting profits run, being flexible, and understanding the market indexes. Unweighted Price Index and Stock Market Trends The Zweig Unweighted Price Index, Zuppi, is an alternative to the Dow that gives equal weight to large and small companies. Unlike the Dow, Zuppi incorporates a wide range of stocks, including small businesses. Interest rates and Federal Reserve policy play a vital role in stock market trends. Lower interest rates reduce bond and bank deposit returns, increasing stock sales. In contrast, rising interest rates make those other investments more attractive. Lastly, investors should use the easy-to-compute prime rate, Fed, and installment debt indicators to track monetary policy. Maximize stock investments with prime rate. The prime rate, 
the interest rate that banks charge their best customers is a key indicator for buying and selling stocks. A cut in the rate after a period of rising signals a buy, with the first cut for rates below 8% and the second cut or a 1% drop for higher rates. Conversely, a first hike after a falling trend signals a sell for rates at or above 8%, with the second hike or a 1% increase being the signal for lower rates. Tracking the prime rate, which changes infrequently but makes headlines when it does, can help maximize stock investments. Decoding the Federal Reserve's Monetary Policy Learn how the Federal Reserve uses discount rates, federal funds rate and reserve requirements to control money supply and how these tools can impact stock prices. In this summary, you'll discover how a negative score of 1, minus 1, is recorded when discount rates or reserve requirements increase, and how it stays for 6 months. It is discarded as stale if no further moves happen. A positive score of 2 is recorded when the Fed takes an initial step towards easing. Later measures of easing receive a score of positive 1. Use this straightforward indicator to determine if the market is bullish, bearish, or neutral. Understanding Consumer Debt Loan demand drives interest rates up as indicated in the monthly figures released by the Federal Reserve on consumer debt. To calculate year-to-year -year changes, divide the monthly total for consumer debt by the previous year's total. Falling indicator signals a buy while a rising indicator signals a sell. The monetary model. The monetary model is a combination of various indicators including the prime rate, Fed, and installment debt indicators. Each indicator is assigned model points and a buy signal is generated when the model points add up to 6, while a sell signal occurs when it falls to 2. The Fed indicator is a crucial component with 4 points for extremely bullish, 2 for neutral, 1 for moderately bearish and 0 for extremely bearish. The model helps investors make informed decisions on whether to buy or sell. Mastering Market Momentum Learn how to interpret momentum indicators to maximize your chances of success in the stock market. When it comes to successful investing in the stock market, understanding momentum indicators is crucial. Price and volume are the two primary factors used in these indicators, with price being the more important of the two. If you are planning on buying stock anyway, it's wise to purchase it the day before a holiday, as historical data shows that this increases your chances of a positive start. The advance slash decline indicator involves comparing the ratio of stocks that are increasing in price to those that are decreasing over a 10-day period. If the ratio of stocks going up is twice that of those going down, it's a strong sign of market momentum and could indicate a bull market. The up volume indicator is another powerful momentum indicator, using the ratio of total volume of stocks with an upward trend compared to those with a downward trend. A volume ratio of 9 to 1 in favor of stocks with an upward trend is a particularly strong signal and has preceded every bull market in history, making it a valuable tool for investors. By understanding and interpreting momentum indicators, investors can greatly increase their chances of identifying the sweet spot of a bull market while avoiding the pitfalls of a bear market. Simple Market Trend Indicator the Value Line Composite Index is an easy-to-calculate market trend indicator that generates a buy signal when it rises by 4% in a week and a sell signal when it falls by 4% or more. This ensures investors stay with the market trend as they buy when it rises and sell when it falls. It's important to note that the 4% is not 4 index points, so for example, if the index is at 201 week, it must rise to 208 in the next week to generate a buy signal. This indicator is widely reported in newspapers, making it easily accessible for investors. The Supermodel Trading Strategy The Supermodel is a trading strategy that combines monetary and momentum indicators to give a buy or sell signal for stocks. A sell signal is generated when the monetary model hits 6 points or more, while a buy signal is given for 2 points or less. The 4% model gives 2 points for a buy signal and 0 points for a sell signal, which are then added to the points in the monetary model. The super model scores range from 0 to 10, with a score of 6 or more indicating a buy signal. However, a score of 3 or less is a sell signal. 
Investing Tips for Beginners Learn to follow market trends, identify warning signs, and choose stocks wisely based on growth, insiders, and market behavior. If you're a beginner in investing, navigating the stock market can be challenging. The key to success is staying on top of market trends while avoiding the hype of the crowd. According to Investors Intelligence of Larchmont, it's best to ignore the neutral opinions of investment advisors and focus on monitoring the bullish and bearish groups. When the proportion of bullish investors is greater than bears, the market is likely to go up. But if the ratio tops 75%, that's a warning sign, and it's best to sell. Don't rely solely on advisor opinions. Pay attention to the market behavior or tape and avoid stocks that drop after positive earnings reports. Also, keep an eye on the calendar, prices tend to rise before holidays and more often on Fridays. When selecting stocks to buy, choose those with strong growth in earnings and sales, a reasonably appropriate price-to-earnings ratio, and insider buying activities. It's also essential to buy stocks that are moving strongly and sell those that are weak. In conclusion, investing in the stock market is not an easy feat, but staying informed and following these simple tips can make it less daunting. In conclusion, Martin Zweig's Winning on Wall Street shatters popular myths associated with the stock market and offers a fresh, analytical approach to investment strategies. This transformative guide covers a wide range of topics, including effective indicators to keep up with monetary policies and market trends, essential aspects of stock market, and Zweig's super model. Remember, being flexible, staying in tune with the market, cutting losses, and letting profits run is the key to investment success. Follow Zweig's principles and forge a smarter, more profitable path in the unpredictable world of Wall Street.